Ever wondered how the veteran disability claims process works? Well, you're not alone. This process can seem daunting, complex, and downright confusing. That's where we come in. Our goal in this video is to break down the veteran disability claims process, making it easy to understand and navigate. The relevance of this topic cannot be overstated. After all, these claims are an essential part of ensuring that our veterans are taken care of and receive the benefits they deserve. Whether it's for service-related injuries or illnesses, these claims can provide critical financial support. So whether you're a veteran, a family member of one, or simply someone interested in understanding the system better, this video is for you will demystify what can often seem like a complicated process and by the end, you'll have a much clearer understanding of how it all works. This knowledge is essential for every veteran, their families, and anyone who's interested in understanding the system better. First things first, let's understand what veteran disability claims are. These claims are a way for veterans who have been physically or mentally injured during their service to receive compensation and support. This could be for conditions that were caused or worsened by their time in the military. It's a recognition that their service, their sacrifice, has had lasting effects. The importance of these claims cannot be overstated. They provide financial assistance to veterans, helping them meet their needs and maintain their quality of life. They also acknowledge the long-term impacts of military service, offering support that extends beyond the battlefield. Veteran disability claims serve a vital purpose. They ensure that those who have served our nation are not left to shoulder the burdens of their service-related injuries alone. They are about honoring our commitment to those who have given so much. Now that we know what veteran disability claims are, let's delve deeper into the process. Not everyone can file a veteran disability claim, so who is eligible? That's an essential question to address. To be eligible for a veteran disability claim, one must first and foremost be a veteran. But what does that mean exactly? Well, in the eyes of the Department of Veterans Affairs, a veteran is someone who has served in the active military, naval, or air service, and who has been discharged under conditions other than dishonorable. Now, just being a veteran isn't enough. There are additional eligibility criteria to meet, one of these is the existence of a current disability. The veteran must have a physical or mental condition that impacts their ability to function normally. This could range from physical injuries like loss of a limb to mental health conditions such as post-traumatic stress disorder, but hold on, there's more. That disability must be linked to your military service. This is known as a service-connected disability. In other words, the disability must have been caused or aggravated by your service. This might be a direct link, such as an injury sustained in combat, or it could be due to conditions experienced during service, like exposure to harmful substances. Lastly, the veteran must have served a minimum period of active duty. This varies based on when and where you served, but generally you must have served at least two years of active duty. But what if you don't meet all these criteria? Well, yeah, don't lose heart just yet. There are exceptions to these rules. For instance, Veterans discharged due to hardship, government convenience, or certain medical conditions may still be eligible. And remember, every case is unique. What matters is that you understand these basic eligibility criteria. They are the gateway to filing a veteran disability claim. So there you have it, the eligibility for veteran disability claims in a nutshell. It might seem like a lot, but it's all about understanding the basics. And once you've got that down, you're well on your way to navigating the claims process. Remember, understanding eligibility is the first step in the claims process. Now we get into the heart of the matter, the claims process itself. At its core, the process can be broken down into four straightforward steps, preparing, filing, processing, and deciding. Our first step is preparation. This stage is all about gathering. You're going to need to collect all the relevant medical records and service records that are tied to your disability. This is also the time to seek out any necessary statements from buddies or lay evidence that could support your claim. Remember, the more thorough you are during this step, the smoother the rest of the process will be. The second step is filing the claim. You can do this either online, through the mail, or in person at a regional VA office. If you need help, don't hesitate to reach out to a veteran service officer. They're well versed in the intricacies of the system and can provide invaluable assistance. When you file, you'll need to specify whether you're filing a standard claim or a fully developed claim. 
The latter can potentially speed up the process, but it requires all the evidence up front. Choose the option that best suits your situation. Next up is the processing stage. Once your claim has been submitted, it enters the VA's queue. During this time, the VA will review your claim, check the evidence, and may even schedule you for a compensation and pension exam, also known as a C&P exam, to evaluate your disability. It's important to attend this exam if one is scheduled. It plays a vital role in determining the outcome of your claim. The final stage is the decision stage. After all the evidence has been reviewed and any necessary exams have been completed, the VA will make a decision on your claim. You'll receive a packet in the mail with the decision and an explanation. If you're awarded disability compensation, this packet will also detail how the VA calculated your disability rating. Now, it's important to remember that every claim is unique, and so timelines can vary greatly. The VA strives to process claims within 125 days, but some may take longer due to factors like the complexity of the claim or the need for additional evidence. Also crucial to note is that if you disagree with the decision, you have the right to appeal. The appeals process is a whole other ballgame with its own set of rules and timelines, but don't worry, we'll cover that in another video. So there you have it, prepare, file, process, and decide. Those are the four steps to the veteran disability claims process. It might seem daunting at first, but with the right preparation and support, it's entirely manageable. Those are the steps, clear and simple. But what happens after you file the claim? Tune in to our next scene to find out. You've filed your claim. What comes next? Well, after you've sent your claim into the ether, it doesn't just disappear. In fact, it embarks on a journey through a series of steps before reaching a final decision. The first stop on this journey is the initial review. This is where the Veterans Affairs, or VA, takes a fine-tooth comb to your claim. They meticulously check to ensure all necessary documents are present and that your claim is filled out correctly. This phase is critical because any missing or incorrect information can cause delays in the process or worse, result in a denial. So, it's always a good idea to double or even triple check your claim before sending it off. Next, your claim moves on to the evidence gathering stage. This is where the VA requests additional information or documentation to support your claim. They may ask for medical records, service records, or any other evidence that can substantiate your disability claim. Once all the evidence has been gathered, the VA will then review everything in detail. It's the final stretch where they determine if your claim is valid and if so, the extent of your disability. Now let's talk about possible outcomes. If your claim is approved, you'll receive a notification detailing the benefits you're entitled to. This could include financial compensation, access to medical care, and other benefits, depending on the severity of your disability. On the other hand, if your claim is denied, don't despair. You have the right to appeal the decision. This process may take some time, but it's worth pursuing if you believe your claim is valid. Throughout this process, it's crucial to remember that patience is your best friend. These steps take time and it's perfectly normal to feel a little anxious as you wait. But rest assured, every claim is given the attention it deserves. Patience is key in this stage, but remember, you're not alone in this journey. Every step forward is a step closer to the support and recognition you deserve. We've covered a lot of ground today. Let's recap. We kicked things off by introducing veteran disability claims, a crucial resource for those who've served our country. We then delved into what these claims are, essentially, benefits for veterans who have sustained or aggravated injuries during their service. Next, we chatted about eligibility, noting that it's not solely about service-connected injuries, but also about how these injuries impact your life and livelihood. Then we walked step-by-step -step through the claims process, from gathering evidence to filing the claim and even what to expect after filing. Remember, understanding this process is vital not just for veterans, but for their families too. It's about securing the support and compensation deserved for the sacrifices made. With this knowledge, you can confidently navigate the veteran disability claims process. Stay informed, stay empowered. Before we wrap up, here's how you can take action. First, visit the Department of Veterans Affairs website for more comprehensive information on veteran disability claims. It's a treasure trove of resources designed to help you understand and navigate this process. Second, don't hesitate to reach out to a veteran service officer. They are there to you personalized assistance and guide you through the complexities of the claims process. Third, if you found this video helpful, please share it with others who might benefit from it. 
Knowledge, after all, is most powerful when it's shared. Remember, knowledge is power. Use it to make a difference. Stay informed, stay empowered, and help others to do the same. Together, we can ensure our veterans receive the support they deserve. Lastly, if you found our content useful and want to stay updated on our latest videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Your support is vital to us and helps us continue to provide valuable resources like this one. Thank you for watching.